This is Barrio Logan. It's a very important neighborhood in San Diego because it represents immigration and the difficulties that happened in the 60s and 70s where artists like Victor Ochoa did these beautiful murals to represent the protest of what was happening here in San Diego. Is there a story that really was impacting or something that was pretty intense that happened there? You know, the history of Chicano Park is quite elaborate. The whole freeway taking thousands of families out to build the freeway. So it was like they were destroying the community. We had like marches all the way to the city where it was kind of interesting. We had like low riders along with Aztec dancers and and then confrontations with the cops always. They always wanted to get us out of there. I just told somebody I felt like a watchdog because a lot of times my perspective from the 60s and 70s sometimes gets forgotten. Even the word Chicano, a lot of people don't misunderstand it or they don't use it at all anymore. Well, what do you think enlighten I, us? We're Mexicans, indigenous people, but with an attitude. And you could call it political attitude. Much like the Native Americans, the Mexican community has had a lot of adversity here in San Diego. And especially now with the wall wanting to be built, I think it's an important question to ask, how has living in San Diego affected how you create? I was in great fortune that I was born in East LA and at the age of seven, immigration kicked my family out because they were, my parents were undocumented. So I, I got kicked out to Tijuana for like over 10 years. But wait a minute, you were a U.S. citizen then, yes, right? Yes, but I, had to, I was only seven years old. I had to take, go with my parents. Okay. I've been so fortunate throughout my life as I, as, I, as I look back, I'm writing a book called Chicanosaurus at the Border that I, I reminisce different things. So the things that were kind of, would be adversity for other people, it sounds like those were actually that's a blessing a that, that's for That's a true Chicano right there. So Chicano Park has been uh, very important to muralist to the community and and internationally it, it's been um, a voice of what Chicanos have done here in the Southwest. You know I've seen the murals that you've done and your work has such passion you know it's not just oh this is a really pretty picture I can see there was a lot of meaning. When I went to the park and we primered the wall I'm looking at it, we had like 300 people in the odd kids and everything, they were all with little brushes like ready to, to and, and I, I touched the wall and up right away I felt like the cave uh, painters, you know, like in Mulike right. we have like the sure. biggest, and I remember reading this one because I airbrushed, he chews on the paint, and then, and blows through a, through a bamboo and leaves his mark on the wall, kind of like, uh, oh, I would, uh, Victor, Victor Ochoa was here, was here. That's powerful. I had that prehistoric feeling, then I had the, the pre-Columbian feeling of the Mayas and the Aztecs, and I'm like, here we are, Chicanos, and we're, we actually felt like we were holding a torch of contemporary times and that yes, we had were. the obligation, the responsibility of all of that behind us. I wanna I do wanna leave a, a some kind of a legacy that that it has some kind of respect to it, you know. I you know, I have to say that being proud of who you are is super important. And I used to be very introvert when I was younger and it, the art made me more outspoken more and more and 
So what I, I feel like is that the art makes you stronger as an individual. And it, I, I would appreciate people thinking that through art, they could do changes in their own lives as well as their community. Reflecting on this artist, Victor Ochoa, has been such an incredible journey because I've been able to really understand the adversity that he's come from and the fact through all of that he could have turned to drugs, gangs, but instead he turns to art and we get to experience some amazing murals that are going to be there forever and really stand the test of time.